for today, I'm going to be teaching you on how to set up Google Analytics on your website. Okay, the first thing I'm going to be doing is turn on your web browser. Okay, now this is the blogger site I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll come to open a tab, I'll search for Google, Google Analytics. So once I click on that, so I'll play Google Analytics. Okay, now I see that um, my Google Analytics has not been set up, so I'm very sure yours too has not been set up. So what you will do is you sign up for Google Analytics. So once you click on that, you see account set up. My account name. So I will say my account name is exclusive staff. Since that is what I have here, exclusive staff. So once I click on that, I'll eat. Okay. So I'll come here and move. I say next. You can see here you see account data sharing settings. Okay. You can see Google product and services recommendation, benchmarking recommendation, technical support recommendation, then account specialist recommendation. Then you move next. So once you click on that, we have the web measure your website okay this is on on the web this is on the phone that's on your app and this is on web and app you can see you want this then you can go to the next one say next property setup i can say the property setup is so that's the property name too you can say exclusive industry category you yeah, can see since I'm into fashion, you can see I want them. Um, I want okay. Let me go to beauty and fitness. Okay, reporting time zones. So my reporting time zone can be let's say UK. UK, yes, because I'm using UK on this place. Come to settings, you come to language and formatting, you see it's English, United Kingdom. Yeah, so that's why we are putting on UK. So UK, you can see UK time. Okay, then you can see okay, great. So once it creates, you have this. You got this already. You click on this. Then you come down. You click on this. Then you are set. Terms and condition. Once you click on that, successful. Okay. So trying the new Governance Mobile app. Now the new Governance Mobile app lets you quickly access the key symmetry both of them. If you want any of those. Okay, okay. So now we come to property settings. So once you come to property settings, you see your property ID and everything. So now you can see it is set. Fitness and everything you see. As you see, come to user management. Okay. So once I have that, I can see property settings, user management, come back to this space, data stream, okay, come here, I'll come here, I think, I think all these ones are okay, since uh, the device, put of them, and you can see Google Ads linking, okay, so once I see this, So, so what I'll do in here, okay, so I'll come back to this place. So, you see the user. 
okay so once i see user there then you see language edit my account let me click it on uk okay last seven days let's go to google account settings okay personal info okay so We just see that we click on everything, set it to so email, email analytics, everything is enabled, save changes. Then you come to analytics, analytics or analysis or so everything here and see it get started. Next 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 so everything is owned by you so this is all so now come back to your own so now it is set you can take it all if you like okay Right, so later we do that. Now, this is your bubble analytics for all users. So, let's come to demographs. Okay, this is demographs. These are demographs, these are behavior. Take real time at home. Okay, so this is everything. Okay, so for you to check your audience, this is how you check your audience to see those ones are coming in every day. Let's see our behavior. So, these are just the overviews of our Google Analytics. Okay, so let's see our real time. Okay, this our real time. So, uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Let's go to exploration. Okay, now this is your exploration. Go back to home. Okay. You can change it if you want yesterday. If you want um, today. It depends on which one you want. How people come in, then once you have been approved on your website, then your payments. Okay, your payments, how people come in your payments. So I put my own in the last seven days. Okay, so I think that is set now. So I can come back to our own. So everything is quite looking very good. Quite looking very good. Quite looking very good. So, what else? Okay, let's see our debug views. Is that debug views? Okay, that's my point. So let's come back to our actions link. Okay. Now by linking to your Google properties, you will, be, you will enable the data to flow between the products. Okay. 
Okay, edit permission. I can say, all right, what I want is this to be a date. Okay, okay. We'll come back to this place. So the name is already there. So this is your property ID. Sections. So once you have that. Then you come to your property that you have on the other side of and you go to the tracking info. Let's check our tracking code. You click on the tracking code. You see your tracking ID. You copy this tracking ID. Copy it. There are two ways you can actually actually link your can actually link your tracking ID to your blog site. If you are a web developer, you come to this side, you copy this code, copy it, follow the instructions. This is a global site tab, tracking code. You so copy and paste it into the header, header tab. So if you want to do that, you can come to this side, you can see header, come to your team, go to your team. So once you come to your team, you come to edit HTML. Edit HTML. So once you come there, then at the header, you can bring this down and you paste the code. There. You paste the code. There. So this is the whole code here. You can do that as a web developer. But for those that are not a, they are not web developer, you can remove this and say delete. If you are not a web developer, so what you just need to do is you come to settings. So once you come to settings, you come to order. So when you come to order, you see analytic web tracking ID. So once you see that, you just go here, copy, copy this. So once you copy this, you come down to this place, paste it. So once you paste it, then you say settings. See, settings will be saved successfully. Settings will save successfully when it comes to your post. So that is how you can actually link your 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 Google Analytics to your blog to your blogger. So if you actually like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more updated videos. Thank you very much.